Hi, it's Mike again. Today we're going to talk a little bit about alternative power sources. Well, last time you were here we had a power supply hooked up for this. And in order to use a power supply you need 110 volts. And not everybody has a power supply, so I'm going to show you some things you can use instead. First of all, there's this 12 volt cigarette lighter plug. You can plug that into your car and then you can hook the leads up to the positive and the negative from the back of the radio. And that's one alternative power source right there. Then we have a second alternative power source and that's this big battery here and it's actually not so big. It's a battery out of a small thing like a motorcycle or an ATV. And you can try that out. You can hook up the positive and the negative here. Maybe you want to use some clips in order to hold that in. And we got the positive in. Now we'll hook up the negative. And there you heard the radio come on. You look down there and see that it's working. Okay. And we'll turn that off. And we'll do one more here. Take the clips off. We'll move that one out. And then we'll move this one in. Now this one's pretty cheap and pretty simple. What you need to find is a battery holder. And this is a AA battery holder. It holds eight AA's and that produces 12 volts. And then there's a little clip on top for a 9 volt, but that doesn't mean it is 9 volts. It just means it matches a 9 volt clip. I'm going to plug that in. Now we have a positive and a negative. I'm going to put the insulator up there so we don't get them mixed up. Use a little clip. Snap that down. If it stays. There we go. And then we'll hook the other one to the negative side here. Okay. Now we'll turn the radio on. And there you go. Got the radio hooked up with double A's. Now it won't last very long on double A's and it won't transmit very well on double A's. But it will transmit for a little while, long enough for you to test the radio. We'll try one here. There we go. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you.